day 11 of our epic motorcycle trip. Last night we ended up back at Dills Gap. Right behind us is the beginning of the Tale of the Dragon, which this segment is called Wheelie Hill. Um, well, I don't know why they call it that. <laughs> you see a lot of cool stuff up here. Um, yes, you do. Unfortunately, uh, because of the trees, you don't get a very good view from here, but it's too noisy down the hill, so this is where we're at. So we left off two days ago at Natural Bridge. Which is awesome, by the way. Y'all, if you're ever out that way, you've got to take time to go see the Natural Bridge. It's well worth it. So we rode the back roads up the west side of the mountain ridge there mm -hmm. where the Blue Ridge Parkway runs. And then we crossed through the mountains uh, at Asheville. Yes, I believe so. At Asheville. And then we went, why don't you tell me where we went? We went to Dale's Wheels Through Time, which is an old American motorcycle museum, basically. Harleys, Hendersons, Indians, things like that. It's in Maggie Valley and... North Carolina. Yeah, North Carolina. And that is exceptional. I just, I can't stress to you enough, that is a must-do for anybody that likes American motorcycles. It's just, it, motorcycles in general, it doesn't even have to be American, but that's what's there. They have old midget race cars and, you know, just all kinds of stuff. I mean, it, I can't even tell you everything they've got there, but it's, it's absolutely amazing and a must-do. Props to the people that work there. They give an outstanding service to the place. They'll walk around and give you a little history about things. And um, Andy kind of gave us a little personal information about some stuff there. And the, everybody, I mean, everybody who runs the counter, I mean, everybody is just outstanding. They're great people. What was your favorite bike there? Oh my God. I kind of like the one that they're giving away. Um, you remember what it was exactly? I think it was a 38 knucklehead, knucklehead yeah. And uh, they're doing a, a raffle or a giveaway or whatever for for that bike. And uh, I really liked it. That was a super, super cool bike. So we, we bought some lottery tickets. Wish us luck. I think I like the, uh, the 50 Harley WR flat track racer. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. That was a cool bike. And that was cool. There was so much cool stuff there to see. I mean, they've got an old Packard in there and that was very um, cool. I can't remember what the little supercharged gangster looking car was I forgot what it was called but uh, I don't remember they have a Crocker there just just amazing stuff they have a whole section where people have taken Harley Davidson engines and used them for other purposes so they had some really cool stuff there like um, the ice cutting the machine. ice cutting machine yeah Harley powered ice cutting and machine then, Yeah, yeah, they had a toboggan and an old mine shaft car, you know, that was Harley powered, and they had some uh, some old two cylinder opposed Harley Davidsons and just cool stuff. I didn't even know that existed. But whether you're on a motorcycle or a car, it's a great place to stop by and visit. If you're on a motorcycle, Maggie Valley is just a cute, cool little town. Mm -hmm. Lots of taverns and restaurants. A lot of good hotels, you know, places where you can kind of stash your bike away out of the weather a little bit. Hotels like that. that are very motorcycle friendly there. Yeah, yeah, really neat place. So we left Maggie Valley and came on into Gills Gap. Uh, the riding yesterday was amazing. A lot of people think we're crazy for doing this trip on a on a 150cc bike. Yeah, which, we probably by the are. way... Did you notice, correct me if I'm wrong, okay. we were the only small CC bike that I saw on the Blue Ridge Parkway? Yes. 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 <laughs> I didn't see, I don't know that we saw anything even remotely small. Everything was, no. you know, big touring bikes, GSs and, Harleys. you know, Harleys and Goldwings and that sort of thing. And 
Um, I don't even know that I saw another single cylinder out there of any size. No, I don't yeah. think so. But uh, but we did it, and it was fun. Yeah, we did, and the bikes did great, by the way. Really, really impressed with how they're doing. You know, we're we're running them hard for what they are, and they're just doing outstanding. They take everything we throw at them. So we have about another seven days that we had available for this trip. Unfortunately, there's supposed to be thunderstorms for the next unforeseeable future in the south. So we're having to cut our trip short today and we're going to start making our way back. Um, and, and we're going to get wet on the way home for sure. There's yeah. no two ways around that. So we're going to start heading back towards Texas and um, we don't have a destination, uh, mid-destinations. I think we have the Cherahala Skyway planned for today. Um, and past that, we don't know. Past that, we don't know. So. Figure it out when we get to Teleco Plains, I guess. After we left Natural Bridge, we needed to make some miles. So we rode until we got to... Galax? Galax, Virginia. And that's Virginia, right. Galax, Virginia. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, decent little town. Uh, they have Walmart and several other things, so if you need supplies or anything, that's a good place to, to stop. And it's only about 11 miles, I think, off of the Blue Ridge Parkway, uh, south of the Blue Ridge Parkway, I believe it was. Yeah. What else? We saw lots of deer. Saw lots of deer. Lots We've of seen deer. lots of animals. Oh, yeah. Chipmunks, bears. Deer, turkey. turkey, lots of turkey. Little rodents. Yeah, lots and lots of little stuff. Squirrels and skunks and porcupines and whatever else. Some other things we're, so, yeah, we're few, unfamiliar few with. A few things I don't know what are. <laughs> Some kind of beaver looking little thing. I don't even know what it is. Hey, I just wanted to take a second and ask you all to like, subscribe, and share. If you uh, like our content, we would love to bring you all some and better stuff here in the near future. And uh, any support y'all can give us sure would help a lot. Thank y'all very much. We started off in Dill's Gap this morning, which is home of the dragon in North Carolina. It's our happy place. Mm -hmm. It is such a fun place. Even if you don't ride, if, if you just like motorcycles and fast cars and you're in the area of the North Carolina, Tennessee state line, I would suggest you go by there and just sit for the day and just watch the shenanigans that goes on. Because <laughs> there are some <laughs> there all day are long. lots of shenanigans all day long. But you see a lot of cool cars, you see cool motorcycles, you meet a lot of cool people. It is just a fun place to hang out and watch. People watch, car watch, motorcycle watch. Wheelies. Lots wheelies. of wheelies. Lots of wheelies. All day long. Lots of showing off. For those of you that are not familiar, there's professional photographers that set up out there and they take pictures. So people do insane stupid things just to get it caught on camera it's um uh, but it's fun so it was a sad day because we had to leave there um we've got all this bad weather moving in and so we're cutting our trip short and we started having rest and we're already in the hot icky heat of the south um, tonight we ended up, we didn't go very far. Oh, sure we did. We made it a little over a hundred miles. Ooh. 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 Big day. Big day. But the upside to it is we got to sit here at a nice state park campground at a picnic table, have our dinner tonight and see a deer that was probably no more than six feet away 
Oh, she came right up to the picnic table a yeah. couple of times. Several, several, couple of feet. She was hanging out with us while we had dinner. Anyways, it was really cool. We got some neat video of that. And saw lots of stuff today. Keep seeing one animal that neither one of us is sure exactly what it is. It's not Bigfoot. It's much smaller than that. But, um, I don't know, some kind of beaver type creature, but I don't think it's a beaver. Might be a new no, tree or something. I don't know. Beaver. I don't know what it is. It's some rodent of some sort. Kind of big. Kind of groundhogish, but yeah, different. But, yeah. We're gonna have to look into that. Mm -hmm. But we're actually tonight. We ended up in. Let's see. Harrison Bay. We are at Harrison Bay State Park, just north of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Beautiful park. There are hundreds of fireflies behind us. You might be able to see them once in a while. Flashing back there. Oh yeah, there's some twinkling back there. They've calmed down a good bit, but. Yeah. But they're all around us. They're and everywhere. They're lots of deer. So, tell them what we did today. We rode motorcycles, we ate Mexican food, we uh, rode the Chirahala Skyway, yes. which is an absolutely outstanding road. Um, goes between basically Robbinsville and Teleco Plains. And that's one of my favorite roads to ride to date yet. It's very enjoyable. I highly recommend it. It was a very nice ride. I'm conflicted on a favorite road. I can't even say. Because you get to this Tennessee, North Carolina area and literally There's so many good ones. Any direction you go is amazing. So best bike of the day. Best bike of the day, let's see. Hmm. I don't know if you got one go. I'm still thinking. I don't have a best bike of the day. I have a best bike group of the day. And I know which one. It was definitely the chicks on the supermotos this yeah, morning. Yeah, for sure. A whole group. There were about six of them. Very cool chicks. They were riding wheelies up Wheelie Hill there at Dill's Gap. Um... Unfortunately, I didn't get to talk to them. I wanted to. I didn't even know Supermoto was a thing until about a month ago. And I am just fascinated with it. That yeah. might be the next bike. There might be Supermotos in our future. There might be Supermotos in our future. <laughs> That's so awesome. These girls were fast, too. <laughs> they I were mean, fast. They, they, they were fast. There's no way I could keep up with them. <laughs> no, they were, they were very high-speed girls. <laughs> I mean, doing wheelies all up Wheelie Hill, they were... Yeah, they were getting it. They were cool. That's the supermodel now. Wow, awesome. I think that's all I can think of. I don't... You didn't say the best bike. I know, it's because it's hard for me today. Mm -hmm. There was a lot. I'm gonna go with an elderly man's Indian. He, uh, yeah, that's. I'm gonna go with. Cool I'm bike. gonna go. No, no, I'm taking it back. The Harley Davidson. No, no. The Triumph Rocket. Yes, that bike was amazing. Triumph Rocket, 2500 cc, three cylinder. And the crazy thing about that bike is it wasn't even his, it was no. a rental. He was from Australia and he rented the bike out of Nashville somewhere. Anyways, that was my favorite bike of the day. Yeah, that was a gorgeous bike. And here's where we got smoked by three other riders on faster bikes. What else you got? I don't have anything. I'm done. That's it. See ya.